Here's a normal Drupal page we've enabled with RDFA. RDFA tags look like this. Normal RDF properties embedded within normal XHTML elements. To use them, we'll visit SearchMonkey, a search engine provided by Yahoo. Note the first result. In addition to the title, we've also got tags, the date it was posted, the picture associated with it, as well as other results from the same site with other information. Compare this with a normal search result. Which would you rather have? Here's another example searching for another user. Note that these taxonomy links are deep links into the site's taxonomy terms. Even Dries has some RDFA content on this page. Again, this query shows a few taxonomy term deep links. Searching for Drupal Amnesty reveals another set of taxonomy term deep links. Here, we can see a list of all the Drupal sites that Dries has highlighted on his blog. Searching for Dries himself reveals not only his Wikipedia entry, but also his home page. Note that his RDFA enabled home page lists more specific information, like his projects and his interests, whereas his Wikipedia page is just the first few sentences from the article. So it's cool that Drupal can produce RDFA, but what's consuming RDFA? As an example, we've made a project blog site. It consists of authors, each with colleagues and blog posts, current projects, old projects, new writings, old writings, and so on and so forth. When we select any individual author from this program, we'll see things like their name, associated web pages, a home page, email, colleagues, current projects, past projects, and so on and so forth. Here's an example application that consumes RDFA data, Visinav. Here, we're searching for an author, and once we've found him, we're going to view his social network using the nose relation. Once we've found all of this author's associates, we'd like to see what all they've written. So, using the made relation, we can see everything written by this author's social network. But what if we want to visualize this data in a different way? Applications such as Visinav can use the generic nature of RDF to display data in several different formats. Here, we can see the same data as a table. And, if we erase a relation, we can go back a level and view the original social network as a graph. Then we can add a level of complexity and view the current list of projects being undertaken by this author's social network. This project's not very popular, but this one's right in the center of the network. Drupal can be an RDFA consumer too. Here, using the exhibit module, we've taken our earlier RDFA enabled page and imported it into exhibit. This didn't take any other processing, adjustment, or anything else. It's machine readable and now we have access to all of the machine-readable fields available to us before. Very quick, very simple. Just what RDFA is supposed to be. Human-readable data, formatting data, and machine-readable data, all in the same document, all in line, all describing the same thing. We could make this particular exhibit a little more useful with some configuration, but we can already do some cool things with it. Once you see what RDFA can do, you might be surprised to find that you already know of a site or two that could benefit from the extended search options and rich visualization tools available to RDF-enabled applications.